All right, Greg. Let, let's see. Let's see what we do. What lecture are we doing today? We're in lecture 16, in nutrition and everything causes cancer. All right. We'll try to do this as quickly as possible. So we want to start off by saying that all research should be presumed biased, and that everything you do and can do will cause cancer. The environment plays a huge part in tumor development. That was researched in uh, whatever, what 1999, 2000, 2001. Every single year it could possibly make. Um, it started out with cancer in countries, and obviously every country has cancer. Um, so we're going to go through AIMS tests. AIMS tests say that bacteria, when it causes mutagenic whatever, is going to cause carcinogens. Carcinogens cause cancer. Animal dose response studies. You give I have a question. Oh, go for it. Is this AIMS test to be confused with the Arizona standard? <laughs> I believe it is. Okay. Thank Education you. will be standardized. I right, appreciate it. Animal dose response studies. Um, if you give any type of animal enough of something, it's going to cause cancer. High dose studies can cause an overestimate of cancer costs. We'll go to the next step. Food additives. Everything causes cancer. So any sort of food additive, <laughs> anything that's created, will cause cancer. The Delaney Amendment showed that you can cause cancer. Uh, a question. <laughs> who's, who's Delaney? Uh, some guy from Texas. Thank you. A bitter fight over saccharin diabetes people. They were like, we want food that's sweet. Caused diabetes in the first place. I don't know why they wanted food that's sweet. Anyways, it caused cancer. Um, how, how much? How much of that did they have to eat? Like eleventeen thousand cans. Okay. Of soda. So what is an epidemiologic? Uh, one more question. Oh, what is teen? What is what? Teen. Eleven teen? Yes. A large number. What thank you. you. Is that is that is that Bill Gates worth? Uh, it's actually a little less. Okay, thank you. Bill Gates is pretty amazing. Continue. Thank you. What is it? What? Excuse me. Or, or Please continue. <laughs> We're rudely interrupted. I was going to say it's an epididymological. <laughs> Let's talk about epididymological. <laughs> they measure humans. Human, humans get cancer. Okay. They don't study animals. They don't Those study. are animalologists. <laughs> Excuse me, this is high yield. <laughs> that's Tony Sanchez. High yield. Apparently, I am not getting. She's. That's the one that sucks at pool. Oh, sorry. I apologize. Continue. <laughs> Anyway, it's Nutrition Cancer Report 2007, again, another report saying that everything causes cancer. Major dietary factors which increase cancer risk. There are 54 factors. There's actually a lot more, but they didn't want to say 54,000. <laughs> Anyways, they strongly correlate with the increased cancer risk in certain studies. Red meat, so any meat we eat, salted food, any food that we salt, alcohol, and obesity. I have a question. May I interject? We eat obesity, so take that back. <laughs> Definitely don't eat obesity. I have a quick question. If you notice here on the slide, um, Bacon is the first thing listed under red meat. I think that correlates to the Old Testament. Thank you. Please continue. <laughs> we'll keep moving <laughs> moving forward. Um, so we're going to move with uh, heterocyclic amines. Not to be confused with homocyclic. Thank you. I don't really know what homocyclic are. So we what, what are homocyclic amines? Um, they're ad like a your girl. That's actually hetero. Continue. Obviously, she's not going to get an A. Yeah, she, did, she didn't study. She's, not good at, she's really good at other subjects. I'm hoping you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clarify with you after this. We continue not, to not interrupt. Even our site course, we just took that. <laughs> yeah. I have some boundary confusion right now. The carcinogen. So carcinogen caused by cooking your meat. So in this study, you were not supposed to cook your meat, causing you to get cancer if you cook your meat. And more importantly, PAHs, polyaromatic hydrocarbons, can be formed when fat from meat drops onto a hot fire. <laughs> as opposed to a cold fire during the grilling process. So I have a question. What's the color difference between a hot fire and a cold fire? I think it's like periwinkle. Perfect. Thank you. Please. We're going to move on to sodium nitrate, another cancer causing. Carcinogen effects of salt. Carcinogen effects of alcohol. Considered carcinogenic effects of obesity. May I, may I interject for one quick second? Go for it. You notice here it says sodium nitrite. And the first one says nitrite. Those two should not be confused. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. Well, you're welcome. So obesity causes cancer. Again, you can't eat obesity, so we'll continue on with that. And if you did, would that cause cancer? It should. Okay. Be Please. Honest, it should. Thank you. The dietary effect should. And, and just, just for poster child of obesity. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. <laughs> Dietary factors <coughs> showing strongest preventative effects. Dietary fiber, milk and calcium, fruits and vegetables, physical activity, and low body fat. Again, this was a study done by another researcher that there might be bias. And I think that's also coming up at the end. Phytochemicals. They believe that phytochemicals can help prevent cancer. They want you to memorize and learn the phytochemicals. We won't do that. Benefits of exercise. You should exercise just because it's fun.
that's it. That was all. I have. I have a quick question. In uh, slide 27 of this lecture, last paragraph, it says milk also contains vitamin D, uh, butyric acid, and linoleic acid, which has been shown to inhibit growth of tumors in animal models. We're not animals. Do you think um, which type of animal celebrities were involved in this process? Hmm. Maybe the liker and possibly the unicorn. Thank you. She's laughing at you. I think we don't have anything else. There's, so, essentially, there was a slide on structures of various phyto phytochemicals on slide 29, as can be seen here. What do you what do you think was the purpose of that? I think it was the purpose that all chemicals, every chemical, can cause cancer. Even the chemicals that he eats, uh, which are a lot, especially red meat. Chemical. True. Chemical. I agree. Is there an interview you would like to conduct with me, my friend? How have you been dealing with gynecomastia in your life? <laughs> Good morning. It's usually very infected. <laughs> so. A anything else? I are we, what are things that will prevent cancer? Did we go over that already? Um, no, it's pretty sure that eating, breathing, smiling, sometimes hanging out in the sun will cause cancer. Perfect. Thank you very much for that review. Greg Ellis on AMS1, class of 2000.